They say, put your own oxygen mask on first and then help the person seated next to you. But what if there was a mask that breathes life into both of us simultaneously? What if I give to you my last dying breath and just the act of giving breathes life back into my own lungs, near collapsed and deflated? What if by lighting your fire, my flame grew brighter, like a mirror to a flame in the desert? What if our bodies forgot which heartbeat was which, as you held my hand and pulled me up, your own heart growing stronger in the process? What if adolescent boys in inner city schools who witnessed community violence, but managed to help others, therefore had less aggressive behavior? The mirror in the school back bathroom reflecting back to them their strength, power, and compassion. What if refugees from war-torn countries ached a little less for their homeland as they extended a hand to other refugees who arrived on the shores of Australia, their outstretched hand a welcoming, somehow reaching out to their own former selves in the process? What if I am not without you and you are not without me? What if I am in you and you are in me and it is impossible for me to pour into you without pouring back into myself? What if helping you fly gives me wings, like women with MS who became stronger just by providing a compassionate phone call to another? What if just writing a card to a friend in need could reduce spikes in your blood pressure under stress and reduce the stress hormones in your saliva? What if you lifted a friend in need and that lifted you? What if the Yankees batting average soared every year when they visited the children's hospital, pouring an infusion of caring into the children, which loop back to them like an ECMO machine, warming and oxygenating their blood and putting it back into their bodies, allowing them to be even more capable. What if just helping a neighbor helped college students cope as they stood in the dust of the Christchurch mosque terrorist attacks in New Zealand? And what if even the mere intention of helping someone else in the future led to greater happiness? And what if even having helped someone in the past did too, as though caring for others was a drug that did not know the limits of time? What if volunteering weekly brought the equivalent change in happiness of moving from an income bracket of less than 20,000 US dollars a year to a bracket of 75 to $100,000 a year? as though love were a currency more powerful than money. What if we had, not within ourselves individually, but within the connections and interactions between us, an untapped tool for healing? What if helping others was a public health intervention? What if all of this was true? Would you do anything differently?